YOLO swig. Greetings and salutations, comrades. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, I did the greetings and salutations, and I'm yeah. like, let me think of some other fancy words. <laughs> um, what, comrades. What comrades, <laughs> yes. Brethren. That's brethren. <laughs> brethren. Welcome to the Gamer Just Duo podcast number 23. Dude, I 23. thought it was 22, and then I, I had to check first, and I was like, oh, dang, we did 22 last week, apparently. So 23, we are here to discuss all things PlayStation, Destiny, video games, superheroes, uh, comics, TV, movies, cool entertainment. So, Eric, Eric, I was going to ask, have you seen Avengers yet? No. Okay. All right, all right. I would have probably said something, so, you know. Uh, you made that reference, and then I was like, yeah, he probably could have gotten that from the trailer. Yeah, the trailer. Um, so, <laughs> That's pretty good reference. they do it more, they do it a tiny bit more in the movie, which is cool. Um, Ultron's awesome, by the way, just, just know that. Ultron yeah. is way more of a cool villain than he actually, like, appears to be in the trailer. Right. In the trailer, he seems just like... Uh, the robot. Uh, <laughs> get a kill like, everybody. He's, he's not like a fisk, though, is he? Well, no one's is, a fisk. He... <laughs> no, one. no one is as good as as good as Wilson Fisk. But I am one of your hosts, TV Stiak, that you can call me Teddy. I have along with me, as you can tell from previous speeches, episodes. <laughs> previous episodes, and you know the last couple sentences. <laughs> this is Eric. Um, yep. Otherwise, otherwise known as Legend PBM. Uh, what was that? I was gonna, I was gonna say. Okay, so next week, this is the plan. People who are watching, it might not actually work, but or happen. But next week, I am thinking about live streaming the the actual podcast, and then you know, uploading the video and audio later, because it's not too hard to do. And Twitch has its own gaming talk show thing, and I thought it might be interesting if people walk in yeah. at the end. They can uh, we can have a section of questions before we. What leave. if kind of funny raids us? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilariously awesome. That that would be the best thing ever. I don't I don't think they have ever done a Twitch raid because they're not. That'd be cool if they did that. You know, they're like, not everybody. very well known. They're not very knowledgeable about twitch twitch as a platform. Yeah, they're not really into the whole twitch thing dude they talk yeah. about twitch all the time they had a whole co this this freaking killed me they had a whole topic where they talked about youtube versus twitch and i'm like what? that's not even came and do that yeah that's not e and then like, they started saying like a video platform yeah and then the whole time they were talking about how Twitch is a baby and how it's a new platform and we're on we're in Dude, on the that, ground okay. floor and I'm okay. like Twitch has been around for like five years now. <laughs> kind of funny. They're they are like they're not freaking they're, you know, they old people. They can be, the yes. <laughs> Very much they can be. They're like, oh, we're in on the ground floor and every time they said that I just cringe. So I'm like, No, you're not. <laughs> the ground floor wow. was just in T V six years ago or whatever. So <laughs> Yeah, we love oh you guys. Oh my gosh. Moriarty Miller shirt if you're ever watching. But Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's actually pretty pretty uh well, I I I did well that on times. purpose. Yeah, well yeah, 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 totally. I planned that out from the mo the minute I got dressed. Yeah, funny. he told me to say this. <laughs> <laughs> this is all scripted. So, uh, yeah, Avengers, see it, dude. Avengers. Um, Avengers. I'll are see you... it. Maybe we can talk it next week. Yeah, we like, said that about the order. <laughs> that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to do that, dude. I really do. <laughs> the story is awesome. I will. I will. I, it's not like I don't want to. It's just I. The rest of my life. I, it just I, never I happened. The, you know, I might do that. I might go rent uh, Interstellar. I want to see that as well. GG. I really want to see that. I haven't. Because I, I love space. Space I'm, is awesome. I think if I were to guess, I would say that almost everyone loves space. As in, yeah. like people who like. Is, it's scary, fiction. but it's awesome. Yeah, it's just a cool like concept. Like space is actually space is probably one of the one of the best concepts to like start anything, right. know, any sort of fictional thing. Astrology, right? mate. Because like so... literally, like we know a little bit of what's out there, but mm -hmm. like from what people say, there's like way way more. Like yeah, way right. way oh, yeah. as in like yeah, we cannot thousands. comprehend how much more there is. So like the idea of space and just like maybe out there this is happening. 
Yep. It's not even completely false. As in, like, we, right. it's not completely out there if you think about it. It is a little out there Shoot. with the cabal and all that, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got cabal jumping around on Mars. Oh, hi, you oh, know, crap. over here in this sky. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> dude, I'm going to start off with what I was playing in the past week because. Oh, I, you weren't playing Destiny, were you? <laughs> dude, <laughs> I tried to think about it like earlier today. I was like, what am I going to say I've been playing? Because normally I say Destiny um, and some you other some things. Shovel Knight. I, yes. Or... Shovel Knight, but like, and then, you know, of course, Destiny, but then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, usually I have more than that, and then I was like, I I, I don't, I think that was actually it, <laughs> yep. as in I don't think I pressed play on any other game. <laughs> wow, dude, this, I, yesterday I, I went on a little Steam spree, I was actually really proud of myself. Some, you played some Steam? Like, literally, I, after I, I did my bounties, I got my rank four, and I did, like, two uh, Max Glibber caps. See, I would play a ton of games Destiny. if I did, if I had as much time as you did. Because <laughs> you can but, finish all that and then be like, oh, let me do this. I only get to come home and play an hour and a half, two hours of Destiny. Uh, yeah. But, like, after I, I finished my stuff on Destiny, I went into Steam, I just started playing press and play and everything it was pretty <laughs> great because i played like amnesia machine for pigs for like an hour and then i went and played some i think i played a game of nazgoth and then chivalry and i also played uh, i don't know i just i just started playing press and play on games it was, it was good nice good nice um so that's what eric's been playing i guess destiny of course. yeah i destiny and yeah I've been playing Destiny. I played Bloodborne too. And Shovel Knight. Oh, I played a dude. I don't know if I told you this. I beat the Blood Starved Beast. Oh my gosh, dude! Showing Andrew the game. Dude, I that's was awesome. Like, uh, dude, it was the best. It was the you best guys, thing. Did you so show far. Ryan and Andrew? Like, or did you get? It was the best around? thing so far in Bloodborne that has happened <laughs> to me. I I was like showing him. I you know Andrew came over. By the way, people, I last this past week I left on Wednesday and I got there. You know, on Wednesday. And <laughs> I stayed Tuesday or, yeah, in no, all messed up. I stayed Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I left Friday. And I stayed down in Montgomery with our friends Ryan and Andrew. And I saw the Avengers. I got a bunch of comics. I ate a burger, which wasn't that great, by the way. Pineapple which burger. Pineapple? I had the pineapple one. I didn't enjoy the pineapple on it. But, you know, I just took the pineapple off and ate the burger, and it was amazing. But yeah. <laughs> the um, the next one is we're all getting peanut butter because we've gotten everything else, as in, like, we've all gone yeah. to the cycle. Now all of us only need to eat the peanut butter one. <laughs> so okay. That's going to be – I feel like the peanut butter one will definitely be good. But anyways, yeah. I went down to, you know, Montgomery, Alabama, and we saw Avengers. And I brought my PS4 so I could play Destiny, and Andrew hasn't had internet for months – so we, I showed him all these games that I got, like Shovel Knight, all these Spring Fever games that he missed, like right. Shovel Knight and Helldivers. Hell dude, we had, dude, you heard that, right? Yeah, you can hear us. You can hear there. us very well. Okay, so yeah. me and Ryan and Andrew all played uh, co-op, like local, and then cheeky. Eric. Well, I know, I was getting there. And then Eric was <laughs> through online, and Ryan had his mic on, and his mic like input like way up I can hear you guys so clearly. eric could hear, hear us clearly. like perfectly it was it was hilarious so but i didn't realize you could hear us until like halfway through <laughs> then i was like wait <laughs> you can hear us but dude that was the best the hell divers was so yeah. much fun like it, it andrew I can't believe we did that level six andrew oh, jumped crazy. in not knowing anything about the game i was, I was just like oh yeah there's friendly fire and, oh, yeah, you can sprint. And he's like, oh, well, great. This would have been great to know earlier. <laughs> but it was so funny. Andrew was, like, dying laughing because we just kept killing each other with the pods. It was awesome. Yeah. That was, like, one of the best local co-op experiences Land I've had party. in a long time. Um, What else was I saying? So Bloodborne. the Bloodborne story. So I was showing him Helldivers. I showed him a bit of Shovel Knight. And then I was like, oh, Bloodborne. Yeah, you don't have this. So I opened him up. I opened it up. And I was like, so I'm at the Blood Starved Beast, and I have, like, all the supplies to fight right. him and whatnot, and then I just haven't. I've tried it a couple of times, so let me just try it again while you're here to see. And I went, and I tried it, and 
I was like, oh, this actually, this is, this actually might be it. I don't know. And I took it real slow. <laughs> Andrew was watching, and Ryan was like doing. I don't know. He was like brushing his teeth or something. And then he, like, and then, <laughs> yeah. So what happened was I ran out of antidotes. Oh no. And, but he had like this much health. He's going. And I was poisoned. So what I did was just healing. Yeah. I just kept the blood vials going, <laughs> watching my health, still being patient about the fight. And then eventually there was this moment where like, he, I did a perfect dodge right behind him, and he was right here in my range, and I was right here, and I was just like, oh, this is it. Oh, Let's it. go. <laughs> and I just went in, and my health was dying, and he was so close. But it, it was so intense because I, I couldn't cure myself for the potions. I had, like, five blood vials left, and I was like, this is it. I got to go. And I did it, and I beat him, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Andrew saw and Ryan saw, and it was awesome. So that was the uh... – they were oh, both like watching. Dude. It was like the dude, best Bloodborne that's, thing. That's great now because um now you can like really progress in that game. There's yeah, a lot. I did it and then I was like, yeah, all right. Now back to Bloodborne where the, it, welcome to Bloodborne again where now I have no idea where to go. <laughs> well, I got the, the lamp and then I'm like, the yes, I'm thing, turning around. I can tell you the next thing you need to get a 10k blood you need to get 10k blood echoes and buy that seal from the messengers in the dream and go open this giant door in the cathedral ward. But anyway, Cool. I would have it opens never up guessed a that whole otherwise. New area and you can progress and would have never do awesome guessed that things. ever. That's what I, I I like and hate about that game is that you have no idea where to go, but like then once you you know you figure it out yourself or you Google it or something. So that's what I've been playing. I haven't been playing anything else. Um, most still mostly Destiny. Any anytime I get the chance, I freaking turn yeah. on Destiny. Um, let's see what was that doing. Uh. Uh, so yeah let's see let's go on to the news because a uh, dude i didn't think there would be much and then i started to actually compile them from the past week and i was like oh dang oh okay <laughs> i didn't really yeah. realize um let's start with like the least interesting to us what would be the least interesting one to you um, so we can build up to the most probably awesome probably banjo kazooie okay but take take a look at this video. Let's let's both open it. We don't have to watch it in sync. Just just open right. it and have it uh, playing and it. mute it or whatever. I'll show the people who oh, are watching the video okay. from it. It wasn't so it, interesting it, to you because you didn't know what it was, but now that you're looking at it, is it by the guys who made Banjo Kazooie? Yes, it is, it is by some of the main developers who okay, so it's from Rare. Game. It's a Here. it's a 3D platformer. 3D Mate. platformer. Yeah, it's a 3D platformer like Banjo Kazooie. It looks interesting. It was kickstarted. It is basically the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. It's called Ukulele, but spelled Yuka as in Y O O K A dash Lele, L A Y L E E. <laughs> That's so awesome to me. Yeah. And then like, look at these characters. They look adorable. This, the, the whole art of this game and like the colors this looks fantastic I love the art. like if they have like some good music thrown in here along with maybe like a little cheesy storyline uh, that'd be pretty cool yeah this looks fantastic it was kickstarted and it is coming to it is supposed to come to pc mac linux i believe i heard and ps4 xbox one in the fall i probably i don't know oh platinum this mate get all the collective collectibles yeah um apparently this game is like big on collectibles like banjo kazooie was and stuff like that they said it's supposed to feel like a nintendo 64 3d platformer but it like, really does look like but time. like with modern like look at that lighting that looks awesome yeah so i've never played banjo kazooie but i've heard a ton about it i've seen people play it i know what it is and all that so this looks great. fantastic i knew jack game <laughs> never gonna happen mate unless some other developer picks it up naughty dog jack is never so gonna much. do that <laughs> naughty dog is never gonna do that like i thought it was funny like uh colin always says this colin always says like people want naughty dog to make a jack and daxter game and then they're like yeah. but why <laughs> As in, Naughty Dog is doing because. The Last of Us and Uncharted, and you want them to go back to that? As in, like, 
They've one. evolved. They're a better studio now. They're making The Last of Us. You want them to make yeah. a platformer. <laughs> but, you know, it's I would like love it. Platforming is worse or better. No, it's just that or, it's or, just or, that or, Naughty Dog has yeah. evolved into a studio that makes like the best games on the planet. Right. So, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you don't you don't have to put all the resources into it. You can just have like a side team, yeah. a different studio. Use, use all that Last of Us money. Hire a couple of people <laughs> yeah. to make it. You could probably just spend a few, maybe like two <laughs> million change. on it of their five thousand million. Five gazillion. <laughs> Pocket change to them, mate. Pocket, Pocket change. change. So let's see. Let's go down the line. I'll pick one that is like the next most okay. least interesting. Right. Uh, let's see. Um, eh, this one. All, okay, these are all. This one. Hold they're on all second. pretty good. These are all pretty good. <laughs> they're all. These. These they're all pretty good. good. So, um, let's just start by saying that me and Eric and Ryan have started watching Star Wars: The Clone Wars on Netflix. What are you on? Uh, still, like... Okay. I haven't moved from where I'm at either, so... I'm at, like, nine. I think I'm at, like... I think I watched five, so I'm on six, I believe. But we're watching that because we got hit with Star Wars fever. <laughs> like, for real. I've been Googling stuff, been on that Wikipedia every now and then, right. like I was back in the day. It's awesome. Yeah. Wikipedia, mate. Shout out to Wikipedia. Oh, my gosh. My sister uses Wikipedia all the time. I used to back in the day. Um, so I thought I would address this because the, one of the main reasons I started watching it is because I saw this Star Wars Rebels show, which is based in between right. episode three and four when the Empire is like just coming to rise and Vader is just starting out being Vader. And I found out that apparently all, oh no, oh no, uh -oh. I just realized that all of the episodes of season one are online for free to stream but now that i'm looking at this available through may 4th so we will have to find it somewhere else i believe wait hold on i just need to binge this tonight <laughs> <laughs> go through all core wait, wars all why? Star wars Rebels. um because may the fourth be with you apparently so they take it down yeah but not on that day i bet it'll be on may 5th is when it goes off i bet <sighs> it's a bummer. It's like, hey, it's May the 4th. Let's do everything towards you watching our show. You so know? if you are a, you know, if you are by any chance some rare breed of someone who has just finished Clone Wars and didn't start Star Wars Rebels and have exactly one day to sit down on Monday and watch all of it, it's there. there <laughs> so go. Google it. Gosh dang it. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna watch this do we just wait for it to be no, i'm not can, no, i'm not one of those people that no. waits for stuff to come on netflix no we i can, am not one of those people <laughs> we can find it we can find it somewhere um <laughs> what no uh, not not I'm there joking. just like you know watch dash uh, cartoon or something <laughs> um you know those sites that are like anime haven type stuff oh yeah um, yeah i'll check anime heaven while, while you're going on there uh, you go ahead and pick the next topic, mate. That was, uh, that was Black Ops. Black Ops Three, Blops Three, Blops. Blops. Good old, good old Blops. <laughs> um, they re they talked about Black Ops Three, and some people have actually seen the multiplayer and whatnot. Um, there's a couple of details here. Let's. I'm gonna go through this article. I've seen Ryan gameplay. Albert. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen a little. I mean, bit. there's that one thing. It's gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a gameplay trailer, <laughs> but there's no actual. Trailer. Um, yeah. So the Black Ops 3 release date is November 6th. That's 6th. the same day that um, Star Wars Battlefront is coming out. Are you serious? Yes, Screw I am serious. Screw my life. <laughs> Why you do this to me, developers? I do like that people are slowly starting to stray away from the fall release dates, though. It's nice. It's not like Dying Light, Shovel Knight. Bloodborne, all sorts of stuff. The order. Yeah, Bloodborne's Bloodborne release fall, was like perfect. Is <laughs> yeah, it's great. Like, and if they all just did this and just spread it out, like, why not more summer games? That's what I want to know. Why do games not well, release in July? A lot of people do, a lot That's of awesome. companies do the uh, whole summer indie thing. 
so that there's still like a like big indie games, not like small Tower of Guns esque things. Yeah, they happen every 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 now and then. But like like MMOs, I I've said this before. MMOs launch like June early, like the first week of June. Yeah. That happens a lot. But other than that, like I feel like July would be prime time because all right. the kids are literally just playing yeah, their games yeah. that they got from right. before. Like, right. I don't I don't fully get it. But they're starting to move away from fall, which is good. But they they think that fall is like. Oh, everyone's gonna pre-order games. Yeah, you gotta be there for the Christmas fall ball. season. But, you know, as much as Christmas does, uh, like, allow people to buy things or get things, kids getting their games and all that stuff. Summer having summer releases is really good because more people have more time to buy yeah. stuff. They're literally not doing anything. Yeah. They're not doing anything. <laughs> So let's see here. Any more details? People are getting jobs. Yeah, yeah. Summer jobs happen. Kids go out and get jobs. Teenage and, summer uh, summer jobs. Buy yeah. their own stuff. Also, if you one of the details is if you pre-order Black Ops Three, there is going to be a multiplayer beta for PC, PS4, and Xbox One, which is interesting. Yeah. Very um, interesting because they don't I normally listened, do that. I listened to it was like a GameSpot video or something like that, and uh, they um talked to this guy who was familiar with the game and I listened to it and what I have come up with in terms of they even mentioned Destiny in, in this video. Uh, it's pretty much Destiny and Titanfall. Yeah, I, I watched that video too and I was like That's like okay. Alright. It's yeah. Yeah. It's I gonna be know. like Titanfall with like the movement, but not as fast of course because Triarch. But there's going to be the wall running, of course. That's um, cool. That's cool. Wall running is I'm cool. excited. I, just, I haven't seen it implemented in a game very good. Titanfall. Titanfall did it pretty well. Titanfall was fantastic. I, that is, it was that very is, that is the one thing that Titanfall nailed. Titanfall nailed the gameplay mechanics. Replayability? They were so perfect. <laughs> well, yeah, there, there wasn't much content on Titanfall when it originally released. That, that was its problem. There's yeah. apparently a ton now. Like with DLC, there's like it's like there's a ton. There's like a horde huh. mode and all sorts of stuff. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, um, another thing is that there's a there ranking is... system in Titanfall. <laughs> yeah, I knew that, that. That came out later. But... Yeah. Um, Black Ops Three will also have um, these heroes that have um, special abilities. Yeah. And they gain with kills and points, and you can use them. Very much like, like a super. So, I mean, they are kind of implementing more um, features from other games, which is uh, interesting. But a lot of people still don't like the Google Futuristic thing. Man. Um, I'm excited. This looks I just hope. I just hope the movement isn't so... I, I just hope it's not... Because I actually heard the, the knife, actually. They're making it so it's the melee is actually like a butt of your weapon type of thing, like Halo. That's cool. That's which cool. I, like I love the Halo melee because it was more it was more of a challenge rather than oh you're here here's a guy and like oh my gosh Modern Warfare two. Yeah, the the <laughs> commando. Snipe people with your knife. The commando <laughs> lunge. Yeah. <I've... laughs> yeah. So. Uh. But, yeah. So far, all of what I've seen, if all of this is actually true, the Black Ops 3 is shaping up to be a very different COD. Very different. Which is even though awesome. It, even because... though they're taking a lot of things from Advanced Warfare. G I but they're, they're not. Really... They don't look like they are. Ex it's, it's, it's not an exosuit. It's like a, it's wall running, which is not what an exosuit it's, was. It, they're, take, they're getting their body is modified by having their limbs uh cut off and replaced with ro uh machines yeah that allow them which to isn't have, uh, uh which isn't points. i don't know this is this is new like all of this that that hasn't been done before really i mean it's probably been yeah. touched by other games but like when it comes to call of duty all of these mechanics are new which is basically showing a trend that advanced warfare hopefully started as in hopefully the next infinity ward game is very different too because Ghost right. was way too similar to other Call of Duties, and right. everyone was like, 
I, I can't. We need something new. Advanced Warfare yeah. did do something new, and now Black Ops 3 is, and this is looking good for the uh, Call of Duty franchise because right. everyone was getting very fatigued. Um, another thing is with the jumping, instead of it being like a uh, an escaping maneuver or anything like that, um, it's going to be more of uh, replacing ladders. Yeah. So it, it gives you that vertical, but it doesn't like have the boosts like that go crazy <laughs> and yeah. yeah. So it's not going to be like they're going to try and make it a little bit more flowy. I think. Uh, so. One more thing about Black Ops Three, and then we'll move on. The characters in multiplayer are supposed to be. The multiplayer is supposed to be more MOBA esque, as in there are going to be certain characters that are yeah, better at like different you know different mm -hmm. uh objectives than others like sniping or whatnot yeah so, they said there was one good. guy who has like this charge that can like like you, you saw in the trailer the dude just likes goes like bam bam like punches and he has like these two sticks that do like uh the fist of havoc yeah pretty much exactly like that um so, and yeah. but he can like rush the flag and stuff and capture the flag sounds good I'm a little disappointed that they're copying stuff like Fist of Havoc so on point. Like, like the electricity. Do something other than electricity. Like, come on. Like, at least mask it with, like, I don't know, earthquake hands that, like, move the... <laughs> I don't know. Do something uh, different. But gameplay yeah. was... Is, I don't know. Black Ops 3 looks good. I'm excited for that. Um, that was yours, so I should pick something real quick. Let's yeah. see. Um, okay, let's cover two in one. First, there's an Arkham right. Knight trailer that released last week, but then they also yesterday released the details of their season pass. So let's watch this trailer first. This is one of the trailers that we can like sync up and watch. Let's see. Let's see. Pull it on over here. What is here. it again? The Batman mm -hmm. Arkham Knight trailer. Batman Arkham. Oh, okay. Dual play. Yeah, I, I saw this. It's pretty good. This is pretty, this is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty good. good. All right. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you RDY? Cuz I am RDY. Yeah. Okay. 3 2 1 go. <laughs> I figure this is one that we can watch. It's it's so good. <laughs> the people of Gotham need you. You will bring death to all who follow you. Jim Gordon, Batgirl, Alfred, some cop, Robin, <laughs> Catwoman, Nightwing. Just dropping all the bombs. It's awesome. Who is that scarecrow? Uh, I think it was one of his goons. Dark days are here. Prophecy has come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, is... the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Looks ridiculous. So, wait, let me, let me get something. I never actually asked this. I should probably ask this like a long time ago. Like, is the the Arkham Knight actually the dude with the, or is it actually Batman? Like, give, who is the Arkham Knight? Um, Straighten out here for me, mate. <laughs> let me find you the actual where they show him and just tell you the timestamp. 
I mean, is it the dude? One thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what. I, he yeah, has a freaking cool. army. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> that's crazy. That hadn't that's been awesome. seen before. That it was just the Arkham Knight on all these trailers, before, and then it's like, oh, a bunch of tanks <laughs> and stuff, dude. Just from like that trailer. If they follow the trend that they did with Arkham City, or well, that they have on all the Arkham games, where like Arkham Asylum is, you know, good sized, Arkham City is pretty right. dang big, and if Arkham yeah. Knight is like bigger than that, I hope there is so giant, much content because I just don't. <laughs> I don't have enough time. <laughs> well, the reason I want it to be bigger mostly is because I want to drive my Batmobile around. You, know? you will. That's that's gonna be one of the reasons why it's definitely bigger, or one of the reasons why. I, I'm very I, positive that it's in the city, um, it it had a big city, but I mean the roads were all cluttered and there wasn't really much place to drive if you had had a Batmobile that was. Yeah, but this but, is I mean, designed for the Batmobile. Designed for the Batmobile. It's gonna be awesome, dude. I I, I oh, blah, blah, blah. sorry. Sometimes you just gotta freak great, out because you're so excited. Like I just uh, I I wish Destiny hadn't sucked me in so much because. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd actually be able to play other games. You know, it's 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 weird because um, uh, Arkham Arkham Asylum was like my first uh, like my first uh, new console game. Like when I was fourteen, I finally got um, I got upgraded yeah. from my Xbox to my Xbox 360, and the first game I got was Arkham Asylum, and it was like the best thing ever. Yeah, so. they're so good. All of the Arkham games are great. awesome. Asylum's great. City's great. So, like, unless they just pull a 180, we can expect this game to be great. So. Yeah. Um, that That's... I was thinking maybe if we have time, we should go over our most anticipated games. Because we did that a couple of months ago. But that yeah. was when Uncharted, uh, Uncharted 4 was still coming and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. maybe if we have time. Um, let's talk about these season pass details. Basically, what happened was that they released a couple of days ago that the season pass was going to be 40 bucks, and everyone's like, oh, it's yeah. outrage! Oh, I can't believe this! Rabble, rabble, rabble. You know, yeah. like they do in South Park. So, <laughs> they WB released something recently Back. talking about how all the different stuff that is coming in the season pass. So, let's yeah. see. So... Uh, this is an article by Michael Martin. I'm just going to skim through this. In a response to a bit of controversy over the pricing and lack of information for the season pass, the developer revealed on the Arkham Knight forums that the players will be able to take on Batgirl in an all-new prequel story. Um, here's the piece of artwork, which is actually Batgirl. Boom. Pretty freaking awesome. Uh, let's go back here. If these DLC are like anything like um, uh, what, Left Behind... The one from Last of Us, if there's anything like that, that would be amazing. Yeah, the one for Arkham uh, City was great. Like it was, it was really good. They they basically just yeah. did a story of like afterwards when Batman was. It was great because like Batman was shaken up by you know spoilers for Arkham City. Come on, you've had right. enough time. It's been however many years. Right. But when the Joker died, like bat it's basically like six or a couple months after that and Robin's doing a mission because Batman was just like literally not feeling up to it. And like Batman is just like all shaken up because hmm. the Joker's dead, which is awesome. Because like it's, it's the so Joker They're like so like They've been so against each other and exactly. all those things, but he's trying to keep Joker alive, but have him detained, and they've almost become like arch fremenists. Yeah, they're frenemies. <laughs> frenemies. <laughs> frenemies. So, arch yeah. frenemies. It's just like yeah, the yeah. Joker always is like, "Batman, you need me, don't you?" And he's like, "I don't need you. I could kill you if I wanted to." And then he actually <laughs> like read it. He actually is now like, "Oh, maybe." I don't know. It's, it's just they've just been at it for so long that all of a sudden they're not at it. And yeah. GG. Um, so let's see. Other key, detail, key details for the season pass include playing as Batman in new story missions featuring legendary supervillains invading Gotham City, as well as more story missions for Batman's supporting cast. So I can't find the actual... I could probably find it, but we don't have enough time. Yeah. The actual thing that WB said was like... 
we're, we're very excited to be support to be continually supporting our yes. game six months after release with story for Robin story. Nightwing and they're like oh and they just named them all and I'm like okay with new challenge maps <laughs> and all sorts of stuff so mm. when I get paid this Tuesday uh, I'm, ordering the, I'm uh, still not I'm done pre-ordering story. games <laughs> I I only Honestly. pre-order games that I only don't pre-order games that I'm questionable about. As in, like, freaking the next Assassin's Creed? Not gonna happen. No, I'm not gonna pre-order like, Battlefront. Like, uh, AAA? Yeah, I don't know if I will either with Battlefront. But, like, freaking... Like, like we said, with Arkham... The Arkham series' is reputation, like, I yeah. think it's a safe bet, a bet on that one. I think Uncharted 4 is a safe bet, stuff like yeah. that. Persona 5, probably. Oh, Persona. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want to talk about next? Um, Last of Us. Yeah, dude. I thought this information, this bit of news, was very weird. Yeah. Um. Why? <laughs> so basically, they're releasing the Last of Us Left Behind DLC as a standalone thing, so you can just buy it if you don't have the game, which is like makes zero sense because you need to. It helped. There's a lot of references to the main game. Yeah. I, I mean, it works. It was good for fine. people that don't have to have the game, sure, but still. It works like fine as a standalone, but like. It's too short to it's, be a standalone. No, not a, not at all. It's time I mean, isn't the essence. I would buy a five dollar standalone that lasted me two hours. <laughs> well, I mean, I know how, I don't know much how much it costs, but like, I just think it's weird that it needs to be a standalone because it worked better in tandem with the game. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Is that like it? It's just an odd thing. Like Infamous First Light very much makes sense as a standalone. Like you don't. Yeah, need it was the, all, it, it's the its whole, own. It didn't have anything to do with Delson. It's its I'm own sure. like area of the map, you know. But like left behind is basically like after you finish the game, play this. It's it's it's, it's this own little piece of story. But like, I I don't it know. It goes back to where you're saving. Who is this for? That's what I'm saying. Who is this for? Yeah, it's very odd. Yeah, maybe it, I... maybe if you sold The Last of Us, I guess, and you never got the chance to play Left Behind. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's just that's weird. Weird. Yeah. That is weird. All right, now we're down to some pretty big stuff. Let's cover this real quick. The yeah, Avengers, um, they did, the you know, Avengers Age of Ultron did, right. of course, insanely well in the uh, right. global box office. Right. Which is crazy to me that Avengers or Marvel movies do way better outside of America than they do in America. Yeah, dude. Because they do Freaking... awesome in America. <laughs> but they do um... insane everywhere else. Like... I feel like Marvel like pushes their movies as far as the eye can or their arms can reach. <laughs> it's true, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Marvel's but, like, the Brits got it like a week before us. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So, Marvel's The Avengers still holds the record yeah, with true. a two hundred and seven point four million dollar uh, bow, followed by Age of Ultron with an estimated one hundred eighty seven point seven million. All right. Avengers 2 outperformed Iron Man 3's opening, which was 174.1. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the, it, 187 to 207 really isn't that far behind. Marvel is just swimming in money, you know? Yeah, gosh, <laughs> gosh, dude. They, they really are. They should just, like, give DC some money <laughs> out of pity. It's like, like, here. Hey, DC, just come on, make some movies for us. <laughs> We want to see something. <laughs> what if, oh my gosh, what if Disney or like Marvel just bought out DC, the DC rights from Warner Brothers and just, oh. To combine and, to combine I don't even know what they would do. What would they do? Would they like the make their own DC universe or would they just be like, no, we're not making any DC movies. We just bought it. <laughs> versus Iron Man. Uh... No, Spider -Man. it should be Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider uh, that would be a weird world. All right, so I feel like this piece of news is very interesting for you. 
you probably yeah, don't care about this not, more than me. It's not as much interesting as it is depressing and heart wrenching. Dang. And son, where'd you find this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So Konami is evil. Basically, <laughs> basically they, to summarize it all. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, but uh, since um, Kojima what's his face left uh <laughs> konami left uh the project for silent hills uh and people were scared that silent hills was going to get canceled and it happened and it did <laughs> so you were right to be scared sorry <laughs> yeah and so gg silent hills rip in three pieces yeah so guillermo del toro is not working on it norman reed is really not working on it uh del toro made um pacific rim well, yeah, yeah, he's and a great producer, and yeah. then having a great game developer on top of that. Basically, what happened what though is like over the weekend, uh, Guillermo del Toro tweeted about how he was sad it wasn't gonna happen, and then the um, then Norman Reedus tweeted about how he was sad that it wasn't gonna happen, and everyone's like, "No, I'm not gonna believe it until it's official." And then Ko- uh, Konami's like, "Yeah, it's not happening." <laughs> So GG. Also, what's what I find odd? They're taking down PT from the uh, yeah. PlayStation Store. Yeah. Take, they're just down. like putting it right into its grave. Yeah, they're, just, they're literally just taking it down. But if you have it downloaded before it goes down, I think it might already be down. Then it it's is. Uh, down. Then you have it. But otherwise, it's gone forever. Do you have it downloaded? Did just... you make sure? That you I, I didn't. I I thought about downloading, but I just I didn't get around to it. I just, I <laughs> Dang, dude, that's very. Well, I mean, man, if they te- that teaser was in terms of just quality, I mean, yeah, it was kind of dumb and like it, how puzzle esque it was. But I mean, they had to do that to make it like lengthy, I guess. But um. The atmosphere and like the whole overall tone of it was something I would totally dig, and I wanted to get into the Silent Hills stuff because it was horror. I'm a giant fan of horror, and <coughs> now like, all right, I'll, I'll get into this. I'll 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 do it. And Norman Reedus, of course, but then and, GG. Uh, now you can't. Yeah, it's kind of it's really sad. <laughs> and and I, I hope Kojima just goes to work for From Software. And from software just takes over the project, and you know, that would be, that actually sounds awesome. It does sound awesome because <laughs> they, they set a really good tone in Bloodborne. Go with that. Like what if what if Kojima just makes his own, makes Bloodborne DLC? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I think. Yeah. So we actually have to cover like the biggest piece in like seven minutes. <laughs> We can take 10 minutes, so it's Bungie's number. We Trials of Osiris, let's go. Dude, right. oh my gosh, it happened. They did the... Trials of Osiris, they, Destiny. Tri- Trials of Osiris, Three. Destiny. PvP event. All right, let's go over, basically, we can just go over, like, what they showed. Okay. Basically, oh, Trials for- of Osiris, I'm going to see if I can, like, speed run through this, and then you tell me if I missed anything. Okay. Basically, Trials of Osiris is a weekend pvp game mode it is 3v3 you have to come in with your own fire team they've set you up against you know they match make you but they don't match make you with friends you have to come in with your own three person fire team you have to buy a your way you have to buy a scorecard <laughs> yeah that's not much passage coin. yeah you have to have a passage coin <coughs> to get in you go the it's the same map all weekend but also when they say weekend that means friday morning to friday saturday sunday and monday which is cool until the reset and it's the same map all weekend they change the map every weekend and basically it is uh similar to search and destroy as in when you're eliminated you don't respawn but you can be revived it's like that one game game mode from ghosts <laughs> yeah like sir like uh I think that was called Search and Rescue. Rescue, yep. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that I found really cool about this, when you are playing, people who are watching the video right now, you can see right there on the on the left where my mouse is, they show fire. T- they show how many people in your fire team are dead and how many enemies are dead. So, like, you always see how many people 
<laughs> oh gosh, I'm dying. Alive or dead. Yeah, what your uh, what your matchup is. So that is awesome. If you get basically, you can. Oh, what I found cool is these these uh, supplies: the favor of Osiris, Mercy, yeah. and Boon. They all stack. I found that really interesting because I didn't expect that at all. As in, you can get all three of them, and all three effects work. <laughs> um. Basically, your scorecard is like you are. Your goal is to get nine wins. They have not told us what happens at nine wins, but it's probably something cray. Like uh, I'm assuming. I think bounty. what happens, you get the exotic bounty for um, Fate of All Fools. That's, yeah, what that's, that's what a lot of people think. And then you can lose three. If you lose three times, you're out, dude. What was originally? But if you're out, yeah. you can get another passage. Passage. Yeah, you can. Yeah, right. I was. I was getting there. Yeah. Basically. <clears throat> what I thought was interesting about this is because originally when they leaked this and talked about it, like, you know, I found an article about it forever ago, like a couple mm -hmm. of months ago, because it was like leaked or something. The, they, the leak said that like you were out for the weekend, the weekend. if you lost three times. Crazy. And I was like, oh no. And then when they said this, you can buy a new scorecard and it's not, it doesn't really penalize you too much. You just kind of have to restart. And I'm like, Okay. I like that. Good. I like that a lot. That's really good. So, there are also tier rewards. Every few wins, you get yeah. everything, and there's also chances of uh, drops. Yeah, they were drops. playing, dude, and they. I already saw like like they they had decent drops like throughout that whole thing. I think that was staged, but yeah, I, I think it's a lot better than, um, what it is now. They had like two drops, I think, like two, like throughout a whole. Basically, also the way the actual thing, the actual game works is like, you the first person it's rounds, so like the first person to win five rounds wins the whole game. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. What else was I gonna say? Uh, the, the too new, much about Charles Mercy. Yeah. The new, as you go up the win, the win uh, ranking, you can you can get those tier rewards, but you can also get the helmet or whatever for your class. And then you can get the there's an AR. I'm assuming that looks beautiful. I'm assuming every through. weekend there'll be a new stock there, like Iron Banner. Only uh, you can you can get them at the certain wins. I want this so bad, Eric. Yes. I want it. I, I want it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want it so bad. Oh, yeah, this is so crazy. good. It sounds so good. So that's mostly it. I'm um, also Crucible rework. Yeah, that's uh, where I'm going next. Okay. Yeah, let me open this. Let me open this. Um, so they covered this in the weekly update. Oh, uh, oh, also, Trials of Osiris, they match you with people based on your connection, which is interesting. It is not based on skill. Also, the gear that drops when you when you are playing that actually drops as like RNG when you finish a round or a match or whatever. No, a match. When you finish a match, that armor if you get armor from that that is going to get you the 34 but if you buy armor from the dude you have to ascend it which i found interesting hmm yeah um let's see okay let's get down also just to refresh people the uh the three maps that we are going to be getting in crucible in the House of Wolves expansion is Black Shield, which I believe is on Mars, Thieves' Den, which is on Venus, and Widow's Court, which is... And then Timekeeper. Earth, I believe? And what? And Timekeeper, which is on Mercury or Venus, I can't remember. I... The PS4 exclusive. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Um, let's see here. Okay, this is what they are also changing in Crucible and House of Wolves, which is... Freaking fantastic. The spawn locking issue currently affecting Iron Banner will be fixed. Not totally sure what that is. Is that just like when you oh, die and you press respawn and it's just like not letting uh, you? No, it's actually something people can abuse. They can, uh, uh, if someone, if your whole team is dead, uh, they can make it so that uh, someone on their team or someone on your team leaves um, and you're stuck in the like where you have to spam square to spawn Dang. and you can't spawn the whole game that's dumb all right well They're glad that's loose. being fixed yeah oh one more thing about trials of osiris i just rem remembered <clears throat> power matters as in just like in the iron banner your level yeah. and your guns matter which is awesome 
Um, legendary items will be added to post-game reward tables for all Crucible activities. Awesome, let's keep going. Your first match in the daily featured Crucible activity will earn you a new reward package each day. That's pretty freaking sweet. Gives me a, like, reason to go, oh, let me just play the daily Crucible real quick. Reputation and mark gains will double for each completed Crucible match, as in they're just doubling the amount you get. Etheric Light will become available for acquisition from Lord Saladin upon reaching rank 3 and rank 5 in Iron Banner. And finally, these maps from the Dark Below will become the domain of all and be added to the standard rotation for select playlists, which are the Dark Below maps that they are adding for everyone, which is interesting. Mm. Also, <coughs> also, the... What was it? Um... Eric told me that they that they said one of the Crucible design guys said this in an interview is that they are making it so like if you do better, yeah, you have a better chance to get. Um, better. I uh, what I think they're doing is they're, they're gonna have the same like chance for like the bottom few people and then the top three people will have like a double chance of getting awesome uh, better rewards. That's awesome. Better. This is oh everything that has been said about House of Wolves is good so far. Not one bad thing. It's ever yeah. you know there's no raid, but that's like don't even worry anymore. So yeah. Also, I, feel like, I also feel like we're going to get a raid in the future. So. Yeah, hopefully. Um, Bungie Store. I just want to highlight this real quick. They are selling a shirt that like if you buy it, you get an exclusive in-game shader and emblem. And all the proceeds go for that shirt go to help people in Nepal who suffered from the earthquake. So yep. that's that's pretty cool. I was and thinking so, of. Did uh, you just say it's those. global now? I think so. It, yeah, it's global now, so the shipping doesn't cost like fifty bucks or anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> apparently the shipping was like insane before that. For like the Brits. Yeah. So we are weird. Ah, I was about to say we were doing good on time, and then forgot about the TV. Seven. Yeah. Ah, um. Um, let's go over these May PlayStation Plus games, which if you haven't seen... I have not seen any of these. I'm going to open it. Open it, because guess <laughs> oh, what? Go. Oh, dude. You get five PS4 games. Just tossing that oh, out there. Oh, five dude. PS4 games. One of which is Guacamelee. Which is one that you said was good. Guacamelee is fantastic. I love Guacamelee. So, okay, here, I'll go over these real quick. Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition for PS4. Ether 1 for PS4. The Unfinished Swan, which is apparently fantastic for PS4, PS3, and Vita. Um, these next, you know, Unfinished Swan and then these next two are cross by for all three platforms. Race the Sun is uh, cross by for it. Ho Hokum is also for everything. And then Murasaki Baby for Vita, which I've heard is actually kind of cool, so... I am very excited. I'm super glad that you guys are going to be able to get Guacamelee because Guacamelee is awesome. Feels like something you and maybe even Ryan would like. Yeah. Guacamelee is really good. So, yeah, dude. Really good. Um, so, I heard something downstairs. All right. <laughs> um, so, TV. TV. Yeah, well, let's cover this a little fancy. Let's see Okay, we only need to cover Flash and Arrow, right? Like, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rip everything else. <laughs> uh. So, Flash? Oh, yeah, Flash. Everything's going down. Yep, Wells is like, down. yep, it it's me. All right. And uh, he down. almost killed Cisco, but, you know, Joe shot the shapeshifter guy who is no longer with us. Rip in peace, yep. sweet prince. Um, <laughs> the... Yeah, Wells is, like, out in hiding, like, getting his plan together. Apparently, next week, Grodd Grod. is going to be attacking everybody. Oh, the Flash is so freaking good. Also, Iris knows. Yeah, uh, Barry? <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I wish I could go over that, but I won't go I, over that because I'll tangent on that for 10 minutes. It, I, I think it was okay the way they did it. I feel like they could have, like... Um, they could have presented it, it out a tiny longer, but, I mean, I, I think it was due time. It they, was could have, <laughs> they could have presented it better, but that last little, the the the, the spark, man, the, just, oh, okay. So, Flash was awesome. Was there any, like, really, really awesome moment in that for you that we haven't talked about? Freaking Joe shooting the shapeshifter guy was awesome. Wells was just like, calling wow. him on the phone being like, 
<laughs> you're not that smart. Um. Yeah, if, even if he did get shot, he would have been, like, able to react to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it was. Um. I think that's, I think that's it. I don't know. Flash is awesome. This upcoming one looks yeah. freaking ridiculous. <clears throat> and Arrow is Arrow insane. Is flipping. It's not Arrow anymore. It's freaking. It's Al Sahim who. It's Al Sahim. That's I, the show I believe that is Arrow. I think that means Arrow. But, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because figured. when he was dressing him up, he, he was dressing him up. When he was putting on the gear and whatnot, he's like, you are no longer Oliver Queen. You are the only thing that remains is Arrow Al-Sahim. And I'm like, okay. So, yeah. So, Basically, Al Oliver. <laughs> yeah, Al-Sahim, not Oliver, basically came to uh, Central City, uh, tried to take uh, Nissa. He he did end up getting her, right? Yeah. Nissa went with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah cause cause the end. Because the, right? the end. So <laughs> Nissa went with them. Diggle and Nissa and Thea and well, not Thea until the end. Um, yeah, Lila, they were all fighting the league. Like yeah. basically, the way they did it, which was freaking awesome, was like, oh, this is what you know set it up. Basically, Oliver took uh, Lila, and then yep. Diggle came to get her, and then. They searched everyone for weapons except for Felicity. Felicity was like, don't you dare touch me. And then, the, <laughs> uh, you know, the guy who was about to search her looked at Oliver, and Oliver was like, don't worry about it because it's freaking Felicity. Yeah. And then, like, they didn't search her, and then Lila, like, came over to, like, give Felicity a hug and just reached in her jacket and pulled out mm -hmm. two pistols. <laughs> and I'm like, burp, burp. It was awesome. I like the way they did that. And nice. then basically what happened freaking diggle and oliver were sword fighting and then he was about to uh he he was he was oh. like looking at him like contemplating it and then he got an arrow to the arm from thea yep. who looks awesome by the way that <laughs> that that suit was legit uh. and and then she was like she was like step away or no, the next one goes in your eyes and then uh, he just walked <laughs> away <laughs> He's broken off, I think. Can he just break the arrow out? Oliver, okay, so, yeah, he's freaking broke it off like a boss. He's just like, <laughs> keep walking. But, <laughs> dude, it's, it's freaking insane. The the two standout moments, Damien. Apparently, Wait, Raish, Raish is, is Damien? freaking I'm Damien like Wayne. Just tossing that. That's not what he is in this show. But normally, Damien is Batman's son. Batman yeah. and Talia al Ghul, son. So they toss that name out there as in race. She's like, I've been fight. My, my predecessor has been fighting with me. Or the person that want thought he was going to be race has been operating on his own out there. His name is Damien. I'm like, <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And the other thing is that Oliver seems to be like mind controlled. He literally doesn't. I I think he. Why is I he doing he, this? I think no no I think El Sahim's like oh okay. god, but then Oliver's like inside like freaking out you know. Yeah. What is going on? I don't I don't fully I don't know what's going on with Oliver, but I'm I hope they'll explain it. I was about to say I'm sure they'll explain it, but I don't freaking know because they didn't explain how he came back to life. So. All right. They explained it slightly, but I hope they do better with explaining what's going on with Oliver. <clears throat> Hopefully they will. Um, at the end, Raish is forcing uh, Nissa to marry Oliver. Oh my god! Which gosh. was that is so awesome. insane. <laughs> I did not expect that. And Oliver is also taking the virus that has been shown in the flashbacks to the, oh, Starling oh City god. to like wipe Starling wipe Starling. your home away so you don't remember your past self. <laughs> so. What? I I feel you know I feel like that's kind of silly honestly I I know that um I know that race is all for like crazy killing <laughs> stuff yeah. that go against their order blah 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 but like destroying the whole city for the near purpose of wiping the memories of one dude yeah it's it's Why? Pretty, <laughs> it's pretty crazy but yeah the uh, arrow's insane it is I really want to know what they're gonna do to fix all this. I feel like Roy's going to be in next week's episode. Um, I can't see it, though. He was in the trailer. Hard to tell. Yeah, I didn't see the trailers. Yeah, he was in the promo, and 
Oh. They, they, he gave Thea the ticket, say, Felicity gave Thea the ticket to, like, a train or a plane or something to where Roy was, and she's like, hopefully oh. you'll be in his life. Yeah. So, <clears throat> if they follow Thea, then they're gonna see Roy. But... Right. The cameraman, that is. Oh, man. Yeah, the cameraman. Like, the <laughs> office-style documentary. <laughs> so... The Will Oliver's been looking strange. <laughs> Sitting in front of the camera. Dude... I, I I don't know. I'm I'm super excited. <laughs> it's so good. They're both getting really close to the finale. The finale is gonna be insane. We need so. to finish off this. <laughs> I'm super excited. Yeah, freaking still haven't finished that. All right, we made it. We're a little bit late, but we actually made it. So let's get to the drope, which I will admit doesn't look that that great this week. While you wait. Video listeners, look at this Rick, who's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Hello? <laughs> oh, let me just turn around and see what's behind me. It's like a freaking L. Right. Oh, man. I definitely oh, have This drop is bad. Yeah. There's nothing here I, I care too much about, but, you know. Um, get your edition of Shadow of Mordor. I own Shadow of Mordor. I don't. Yeah, true. Um, Air Mech Arena, PS4. Um, Arcade Archive City Connection, PS4. <laughs> so it's Clements. interesting. It looks like Your... a, oh, yeah, 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 Police and Powerhouse, Ryan Clements. Um, Ryan Clements. Yeah. yeah, this... Arcade Archive City Connection looks very much like a little retro arcade game. So, looks interesting. Chariot PS3, which yeah, I've seen a bunch of videos on that. Doesn't look too great. Um, Cosmophony PS4, PS3, and Vita <laughs> three-way cross-buy. Ether 1 PS4, which is uh, one of the free PS Plus games. First person adventure. Yeah, yeah. It looks magical. Yeah, yeah. It looks very magical. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition for PS4, which is just, you know, all the DLC. Siberia 2 for PS3. And then for people who really liked Wolfenstein, you have uh, Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Standalone prequel be... for PS4. Interesting. So, yeah. If you played Wolfenstein, you got something. If you haven't played Shadow of Mordor, you got something. Maybe you got something if you like weird retro arcade games like that one. <laughs> that I've already forgotten the name of, so... G G. So, dude, I actually have random things to show before we get out Do because you know? my random things are all the comic books that I bought on my trip. <laughs> Boom. Wow. So let me start off by saying Walking Dead 13 and 14, guess what? Got home and realized that I bought the wrong ones. What I need is 12 and 13. <laughs> so, GG, I need to order 12 <laughs> sometime. Um <laughs> Um, Justice. Have... Oh no, I still got more, mate. I got oh, a bunch. Yeah. Justice Gods Among Us. I'm super excited. I already read Death of Superman. It's over there. I finished that. Batman Volume Four, New Fifty Two. I'm super excited to continue that because Volume One and Two, Court of Owls and Night of Owls, are my favorite comics ever. And then Batman Volume Five. Batman is Oliver Queen confirmed. Oh my gosh. And then. Uh, one that uh, Greg and Nick Scarpino over at Kind of Funny recommend a ton. So I was like, huh, I should actually g get into this if he has them. And he had them. So Invincible by Robert Kirkman, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Oh, you can't see me. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, so, Eric, do you have anything? Um, or are we going to end on that? I have this bowl. Stress oh, bowl. Oh, snap. I have... I <laughs> Like these looks like Swiss cheese. It's Sudafed. Mm. Mm. All right, oh, well, yeah, Sudafed. Drugs. <laughs> Stress balls, drugs and balls. Drugs and balls. <laughs> drugs and balls. <laughs> 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 Woo! Drugs and balls. We're ending it on that one. Also, if you have heartburn, take this. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that was. Oh, oh! I just realized. Freaking full circle for what I've been playing at the beginning of the show. <laughs> I've been playing Hearthstone on my phone every now and then. Surprisingly oh, fun. All right, well, bye. Drugs and balls. <laughs> <laughs>